Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the given partial differential equation. This is of the form capital P into small p plus capital Q into small q equal to capital R. Now rewriting this equation, first term is cortex into small p. In the same way, second term is cot y into small q and the last term is cot z. Now by comparison, we know capital P is cortex, capital Q is cot y, R is cot z. So let us rewrite it clearly. P is cortex, Q is cot y and R is cot z. After getting this, we have to solve this equation to get the solution. That is dx by p equal to dy by q equal to dz by r. By substituting, we get dx by cortex, dy by cot y, dz by cot z. By taking first two terms, we get dx by cortex equal to dy by cot y. This is in the variable separable form. Let us integrate on both the sides. 1 by cot is tan. So, tan x dx integration we have. Here it is tan y dy. The formula for integration is log of secant x. Here it is log of secant y. Since all the terms are log, instead of C1, we take the constant as log C1. Now, we get log secant x equal to, using log rule, log a plus log b is log a into b. So, secant y into C1. Now, removing log, we get secant x is equal to secant y into C1. From this, we get C1 as secant x by secant y. The same way, by taking the another two terms, dy by cot y equal to dz by cot z. Let us integrate on both the sides. Once again, this is tan y dy and this is tan z dz. So, integrating on both the sides, we get the term log of secant y. This is log of secant z plus log of constant c2. Now, using log rule on the other side, log a plus log b is log a into b. So, here it is log of secant z into c2. Now, removing log, we get secant y is secant z into c2. So, c2 is secant y by secant z. Now, this is our u and v. u is secant x by secant y, v is secant y by secant z. Now, our general solution is f of u, comma v equal to 0. So, f of secant x by secant y, comma secant y comma secant z equal to 0. Suppose if we change all secant as cos, when this comes down it becomes cos x in the denominator. When this goes up we get cos y in the numerator. So, this is f of cos y by cos x and this is cos z by 
cos y. So even we can rewrite like this also in case if we want to change all secant in terms of cos. So this is our general solution.